Hello students, let's discuss about proteins today. Proteins constitute about 10 to 12 percent of the cell content and they are macromolecules having a significant role in the metabolism of cells. Proteins are polymers of amino acids. Its protein is a linear, unbranched polypeptide molecule. The order in which amino acids occur is specific for each polypeptide. The protein molecules are very large and highly complex macromolecules. The number and variety of proteins varies from species to species and within a species from cell to cell. A bacterium Escherichia coli may have about 3000 types of proteins. A human liver cell may have millions of proteins. However, all these proteins are synthesized from the same 20 protein amino acids. Proteins serve a number of significant functions in the cell. The most significant of this is their role as biological catalysts called enzymes. Apart from this, proteins are important to a cell as a structural component necessary for growth, repair, and regeneration. Proteins also have significant role in the transport of respiratory gases as antibodies in the defense mechanism, as biological buffers, and so on. Classification of proteins. Proteins are classified based on their structure or composition. Based on their structures, proteins are classified into fibrous proteins, globular, and intermediate proteins. Fibrous proteins. They are long parallel polypeptide chains forming fibers and seeds. They are insoluble in water and form structural components in cells. Examples of fibrous proteins is collagen, globular proteins. They are tightly folded polypeptides, genes forming a spherical structure. They are soluble in water and their physiologically significant functions. Some examples are serum globulins, insulin, etc. Intermediate proteins. They are fiber sap polypeptide chains. They are soluble in water and have physiologically function. One of the examples is fibrinogen present in blood. Based on their composition, proteins are classified into two classes, simple proteins and conjugate proteins. Simple proteins. They are proteins containing only amino acid as their component. They are long chains or polymers of amino acids. Example is insulin, Conjugate proteins. They are proteins containing non proteinaceous prosthetic groups and amino acids as their component. These proteins are further grouped according to the type of prosthetic groups present. Some of the examples are as follows Phosphoproteins containing phosphate group as their prosthetic group, for example, casein in milk. Glycoproteins having carbohydrate as their prosthetic group, for example, mucin of saliva. Nucleoproteins having nucleic acid as their prosthetic groups, for example, small nuclear ribonucleoproteins. Metalloproteins having metal ion as their prosthetic groups. 
for example, hemoglobin, cytochromes, etc. Lipoproteins, having lipids as their prosthetic groups, for example, apolipoproteins. Flavoproteins, having FAD as their prosthetic group, for example, succinate dehydrogenase enzyme. Structure of proteins. Proteins show four structural levels of organization. They are primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure, and quaternary structure. Primary structures the linear sequence of amino acid in a polypeptide gene represents the primary structure. The amino acid in the primary structure are linked to each other by the peptide bonds. The alpha carbons of adjacent amino acid residues are separated by three covalent bonds arranged as C alpha, C, N, and C alpha. X-ray diffraction studies of crystals of amino acids and of simple dipeptides and tripeptides demonstrated that the peptide CN bone is somewhat shorter than the CN bone in a simple amine and that the atoms associated with the peptide bones are coplanar. This indicated a resonance or partial sharing of two pairs of electrons between the carbon and oxygen and the amide nitrogen. The oxygen has a partial negative charge and the nitrogen a partial positive charge, setting a small electric dipole. This gives slightly double bone characteristics to the CN bone and the rotation about the CN bone is not permitted. The six atoms of the peptide group lie in a single plane with the oxygen atom of the carbonyl group and the hydrogen atom of the amide nitrogen trans to each other. By convention, the bone angles between the rotation at the C alpha are labeled phi for the C alpha bone and psi for the C alpha C bone. In principle, phi and psi can have values between minus 180 degree and plus 180 degree but many values are prohibited by steric interference between atoms in the polypeptide chain and amino acid side chains. Allowed values for phi and psi are graphically revealed when phi is plotted versus psi in the Ramachandran plot introduced by G. N. Ramachandran. Secondary structure. The term secondary structure refers to the local conformation of some part of a polypeptide. A few types of secondary structures are particularly stable and occurs widely in proteins. The most prominent are the alpha helix and the beta conformation. Alpha helix. The simplest arrangement the polypeptide chain could assume when its rigid peptide bones is a helical structure with Pauling and Corey called alpha helix. In this structure, the polypeptide backbone is tightly wound around an imaginary axis drawn longitudinally through the middle of the helix and the R group of the amino acid residues protrude outside from the helical backbone. The amino acid residue in an alpha helix have conformations with psi equal to minus 45 degree to minus 50 degree and phi equal to 60 degree. And its helical turn includes 3.6 amino acid residues. The helical twist of the alpha helix found in all protein is right-handed. The alpha helix proved to be the predominant structure 
and beta carotene. More generally, about one-fourth of all amino acid residues in polypeptides are found in alpha helixes. The exact fraction varying greatly from one protein to the next. The alpha helical structure is stabilized by a hydrogen bond between the hydrogen atom attached to the electronegative nitrogen atom of a peptide linkage and the electronegative carbonyl oxygen atom of the fourth amino acid on the amino terminal side of that peptide bond. Its successive turn in the alpha helix is held to adjacent turns by three to four hydrogen bonds. All the hydrogen bonds combined gives the entire helical structure considerable stability. Beta conformations. In the beta conformations, the backbone of the polypeptide chain is extended into a jig-jack rather than the helical structure. The jig-jack polypeptide chain can be arranged side by side to form a structure resembling a series of pleats. In this arrangement, called a beta seed, hydrogen bones are formed between adjacent segments of the polypeptide chain. The individual segments that form a beta seed are usually nearby by the polypeptide chain, but can also be quite distant from each other in the linear sequence of the polypeptide. They may even be segmented in different polypeptide chains. The R groups of adjacent amino acids protrude from the jig-jack structure in opposite directions. The adjacent polypeptide chain in a beta seed can be either parallel or antiparallel, having the same or opposite amino to carboxyl orientations respectively. Tertiary structure. The overall three-dimensional arrangement of all the atoms in a protein is referred to as the protein's tertiary structure, whereas the term secondary structure refers to the special arrangement of amino acids residues that are adjacent in the primary structure. Tertiary structure includes longer range aspect of amino acid sequence. Amino acids that are far apart in the polypeptide sequence and that resides in different types of secondary structures may interact within the completely folded structure of a protein. Interacting segments of polypeptide genes are held in their characteristic tertiary position by different kinds of weak bonding interactions and sometimes by covalent bonds such as disulfide crosslinks between the segments. For proteins having only a single polypeptide, the tertiary structure is their native conformation. Quaternary structure. Some proteins contain two or more separate polypeptide chains or subunits, which may be identical or different. The arrangement of these protein subunits in the three-dimensional complex constitute their quaternary structure. The interacting subunits in a quaternary structure of a protein are held by different kinds of weak interactions. The association of polypeptide chains in multi-subunit proteins can serve a variety of functions. Many multi-subunit proteins have regulatory roles. The binding of a small molecule may affect the interaction between subunits, causing large genes in the protein's activity in response to small genes in the concentration of substrate or regulatory molecules. In other cases, separate subunits can take on separate but related functions, such as catalysis and regulation. Animal proteins versus plant proteins. Animal proteins, such as eggs, meat, chicken, poultry, as well as seafoods, 
and dairy products contain all the essential amino acids we need to build the protein within our body. Many protein-rich animal-based foods such as red meats, egg yolks, and dark meats, poultry, are all rich in zinc and heme iron, which is more readily absorbed in our body than the iron in plant-based foods. Proteins from plant-based foods such as soy, other whole grains, legumes, as well as nuts and seeds lacks one or more essential amino acids. Essential amino acids are those amino acids which cannot be synthesized in our body but need to be consumed through diet. The nine essential amino acids are histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. Proteins from soy and guano are classified as complete proteins because they contain all essential amino acids much like the proteins from animal-based food. As a conclusion, I would like to state that proteins are vastly distributed biological molecules found in many living cells. They play a significant role in all biological activities. They have complex hierarchy of structural organization and varied functions. The amino acid sequence in protein determines their structure and functions. Animal proteins contain all the essential amino acids, whereas plant proteins lack in one or more essential amino acids.